Hi, this is Jaden with Adventure Pilot here with another quick tip about alerts and warnings in iFlight EFB. To access the alerts and warnings settings, we're first going to click Menu, Setup, and then Alerts and Warnings. Once we get into this menu, we'll see a few different alerts we can change. We're going to start off with the airspace alerts. Once we click this, we can change a few different settings for the airspace alerts that we'll see. So we'll start with the alert modes, and this will kind of show which kind of alert you will get for uh, each airspace. So if we click Class B, we can get two different options for showing an alert button, showing an alert message, or not alerting at all. And that's the same with every airspace and special use airspace here as well. So we'll click back, and now we get a few different options. So these are going to dictate when we'll get al these alerts. So the altitude buffer, We'll say if I'm within 1,000 feet, I will get set alert. And we can change that between a few different options here, which looks good to me, so I'll click back. And lastly, there's going to be the display modes, and that's going to show how the airspace actually looks on the map. So if we look up here in the top left and right, we can see a few MOAs, and we can see these are just shaded. And of course, this is where we change that. So if I wanted it shaded and outlined, I can change that there. And we saw it changed, and it's a little outlined now as well. You can do this for every airspace, as well as set the opacity to make them thicker on the screen. Next, we have terrain alerts. So if we click terrain alerts, we're going to get some different options. We can either enable or disable them, and we can also enable obstruction alerts. Map highlights is going to go into whether the map is going to flash red or white, depending on how high the terrain is compared to your altitude. And so you can change some settings here to either show the highlights on map, which you most likely want, and that'll actually display that. The mode, if it's flashing or solid, so normally it would be flashing, so it's more obvious to you. And then uh, what radius um, and distance from the plane would you want these uh, highlights to happen. And then you can also change the opacity for these as well. Next, we can reduce the alert when approaching airports, um, just so it makes it understand that you're landing and we don't need to show you that there's terrain underneath you. Lastly, there's the alert thresholds. And so this is just going to go into how strict the app kind of gives you these terrain alerts, whether you're closer or further from the ground. You can also change the obstruction icon size to whatever size you like. So I'll just leave it at medium. And then you can also filter obstructions between the different uh, heights they are. So I could filter it to show only ones that are 50 feet or more, et cetera, et cetera, with these different options here. That all looks good to me, so we'll click back here and we will go into the traffic alerts. So of course you can enable the traffic alerts. You can also filter ghost traffic and that's just going to be ADSB traffic that's either duplicates, doesn't exist, or um, it's just not supposed to be displayed. The show relative altitudes button is going to show the aircraft's altitude relative to your aircraft. So if I'm at 4500 and it shows the other aircraft at plus 500, that means they're at 5000. You can just set the alert threshold for when you get a traffic alert based on the aircraft's distance or, or vertical clearance. And if you click help me, that can give you some more information on like the visuals that you'll see. And so this might be something interesting to take a look at, but that's a bit more in depth. So I'll skip over that. Alrighty, so that's about it for traffic alerts. And then you can also change the vertical speed to target settings. And so you can give you the either show alert button or show alert message, of course, and then the pattern arrival distance. Lastly, we have ARs alerts. Um, and this is just going to show if you have an ADSB instrument with um, ARs, if it'll give you a warning whenever you have so many degrees of bank or pitch. That's about it for these alerts and warnings. If you guys have any questions, feel free to email us at support at adventurepilot.com or give us a call at 214-585-0444. Thanks. Bye.